This is a featherweight final match between in the white gi. This is Amanda Canuto, a returning world champion against Bianca Basilio, who has just found something on the mat and has decided to deliver it over onto the uh, tables. I wonder what that was. I didn't get to see either. Exciting matchup here, though. Bianca Basilio looking for her very first black belt title. Amanda Canuto won to her name already. And we are off and running here. Bianca Basilio in the blue gi, Amanda Canuto in the white. Bianca Basilio has some of the best stand-up game in the lighter weight classes in the female black belt ranks. She's been seen many times how demonstrating that in the absolute weight classes, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the, the best in the game. You know, Chase, I'm just thinking to myself, isn't it astounding that Bianca Basilio, one of the best women black belts in the game today, and yet she isn't a world champion. She's never managed to capture the gold medal here at the World Championships. She's come close. She's been in the finals. She's taken silver a number of times, but that medal has so far eluded her, whereas Amanda Knuto took gold in 2018 in the light featherweight division, so she's moving up into this featherweight division. Strong grip right there for Bianca Basilio. Looking for drops on Nagi. Nothing doing, though. Back to the center. Head to head. Interesting to see that neither has attempted a guard pull just yet. Knudo has got that real GF team style, great guard passing, you know, aggressive on top. Basilio, I mean, she's comfortable on top and bottom, but I feel like for her, she'd much rather be on top, hit the takedown, get the points, and then go from there. Referee has stopped the action here. Going to see our first round of penalties. I'll be awarded to both athletes for passivity. I like that. It's been uh, fairly cautious for the opening minutes here. What a difference this final has been so far compared to the two previous. The Roosterweight and the Light Featherweight finals were very technical, very intricate ground battles. And so far, this match has been all stand-up. Almost three full minutes of hand fighting. Basilio is trying to get past those defenses to try and catch a leg. Quick look at a level change there from Bianca Basilio. Iker mixing it up now, maybe switching to a bit more wrestling style approach from the judo. 
here we are tying up once more. Also moving towards the edge of the mat. Definitely a strategy to remain safe in case of an inevitable scramble. Of right course. on the edge of the mat, though, in this huge... Oh, look at that. That was a uh, well-timed little foot sweep. Almost on the back here. She's kind of fallen off a little bit. She could potentially come up onto the back. She's got a great gift wrap underneath the armpits. Well, blink of an eye, and this match just suddenly changed them. That's all it takes, and we see Amanda looking to adjust, but it's Bianca Basilio now climbing the guard, looking for maybe an arm lock. Hard to see from this angle. She is high. She's got the one leg up and over the shoulder. The arm is extended, but it's not the optimal position to finish the arm lock, and I think Canudo is safe. She has managed to defend, go back into the full closed guard. Right now, looking at the scoreboard. Scoreboard currently reads as Bianca Basilio awarded three advantages for that flurry. Halfway through. Three and a half minutes left. Amanda Canudo has decided to change strategy, pull guard. She knows she's down by three advantages. She needs to make something happen here. It's only been that one big sequence that has really made any impact on the scoreboard. And I'd love to see more action between these two athletes because they're both so dynamic. That sometimes people cancel each other out a little bit, right, Chase? It can happen, but we just saw Amanda uh, change course here when she pulled guard. Now she's opening her guard. She's definitely uh, ramping up the pace here, knowing that she needs to make, make up those advantages at the very least. Bianca Basilia, though, staying a little conservative on both knees inside the open guard. Now she stands up. To one, one knee at least. Canuto has a great spider guard and she's got that foot in the bicep. Beer is really trying to get out of that. Goes over the top. Canuto could hit a reversal here. She's trying, testing the pace of Basilio. Foot still in the bicep, trying to destabilize her opponent is Canuto. GF team crowd going wild with every time that Basilio is knocked off balance. Yeah, incredible guard from Canuto on bottom, but equally impressive is the base and balance of Bianca Basilio to stay on top there. She's so acrobatic, she's so athletic, her balance is really incredible. Look at that guard of Canuto. But equally, the, the posture of, uh, of Basilio, most people would get swept from there. Less than two minutes left now. And I wonder if we'll see Basilio go for one of her trademark straight ankle locks from this position. She's got a great, a very, very powerful Achilles lock. But the risk of giving up two could be a problem here. Just a minute and a half left. In any case, Back to her feet is Bianca Basilio. Oh, now we can 
can see Basilio accelerates. She's still got a minute to work. Can she pass that tricky open guard of Amanda Canuto? Oh, penalty awarded against Basilio. One of the side judges is calling it back, but the referee has oh, decided. Oh, here we go. Attempt here from Bianca Basilio. We're into the last 20 seconds of this match right here. They disengage. Bianca better be careful backing up too much. Doesn't want to give up another penalty. Right. She gets hit with the second one, that'll be points. Time runs out and Bianca Basilio finally claims the World Championship gold medal here. The realization of a dream. Basilio has come so close, so many times. <laughs> she shows the emotion. Her hand raised here in Long Beach, California, the iconic Walter Pyramid, as she becomes the 2022 IBJJF Black Belt Featherweight Champion.